वेलकम टू आर पी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लेटस कंटिन्यू विथ सेशन फोर ऑफ आर चैप्टर कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी स्टडीड अबाउट कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम टूडे वी लर्न अबाउट अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉसिल फ्यूल नेचुरल गैस Natural gas is an odorless, colorless and highly flammable gas. Natural gas is formed from the remains of tiny plants and animals that lived in the sea millions of years ago. The image here shows the formation of natural gas. The process of formation of natural gas is similar to the process of formation of petroleum. dead bodies of small marine organisms settle at the bottom of the oceans or seas and are covered by layers of sand silt and clay over millions of years high pressure and temperature due to these layers converts the remains of dead marine organisms into natural gas Natural gas was first discovered when lightning strikes ignited gas that was seeping from the ground in the Middle East between 6000 to 2000 BC. Natural gas is a fossil fuel which is often found dissolved in oil at high pressures existing in a reservoir or it can also be present as a gaseous layer above the oil. The image here shows the occurrence of natural gas as a layer above crude oil deep within the earth. Natural gas is extracted from inside the earth through natural gas drilling or alongside oil drills also. Let us study the composition of natural gas. Natural gas consists mainly of methane. Methane comprises about 70 to 90% of the natural gas by volume. It also contains small amount of other gases like ethane, propane and butane. Advantages of using natural gas. Natural gas is a beneficial source of natural energy. offering advantages over other energy sources let us study some advantages of natural gas it has fewer impurities it is chemically less complex both these properties make it much easier to refine natural gas it burns cleanly and does not produce any ash or smoke this means that natural gas is a cleaner fuel as compared to coal and petroleum it produces less carbon dioxide which is the primary greenhouse gas natural gas also produces less sulfur dioxide which is the primary precursor for acid rain natural gas on burning also produces less nitrogen dioxide which is responsible for smoke and also generates less particulate matter as compared to other fossil fuels like coal and petroleum Lastly natural gas is also affordable inexpensive and readily available It is an efficient and convenient fuel It can be easily transported through pipes to our homes or factories Let us study some uses of natural gas It is used as a fuel to run vehicles such as buses cars taxis It is also used to generate electricity in power plants It is used as a raw material to make fertilizers plastics and fabrics It is also used to manufacture a wide range of chemicals such as ammonia methanol acetic acid propane and butane Natural gas is also used as a heat source in making glass, steel, cement, 
bricks, ceramic and paper. Compressed natural gas also known as CNG in short. CNG is produced when natural gas is stored under pressure. It is a cleaner fuel and causes less pollution. The use of CNG has brought down the pollution level in many cities in India. The image here shows examples of some means of public transportation that run on CNG in New Delhi. Fossil fuels are present in limited quantity. They are widely used for production of about 90% of the total energy produced worldwide. Burning of fossil fuels leads to major environmental problems such as air pollution, acid rain and global warming. Scientists estimated that fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum are likely to get exhausted by 2050. So we must use fossil fuels very judiciously. We need to conserve or save fossil fuels because they are non-renewable and exhaustible natural resources. We can save fossil fuels by following ways. We should walk down to short distances instead of using a vehicle. We should switch off the vehicle engine at the traffic signals. We should use carpools to reduce the consumption of fuel. Conserve energy by turning off light and appliances when you are not using them. This will minimize the use of fossil fuels for generating electricity. More use of public transportation also helps in conserving fossil fuel. Alternative sources of energy Any source of energy that does not use fossil fuels, that is coal, petroleum and natural gas, is known as an alternative source of energy. Alternative sources of energy are inexhaustible natural resources. They are renewable and do not harm the environment. On the other hand, fossil fuels like coal, petroleum and natural gas are limited and they also pollute the environment. So scientists are looking for alternatives to fossil fuels. Solar energy, tidal energy, wind energy, geothermal energy and hydrogen fuel cell are some examples of alternative sources of energy. Let us study each in detail. Solar energy. Solar energy is generated by capturing energy from the sunlight and then converting it into electricity using solar cells. Thermal radiations from the sun can also be used to directly cook food or boil water as in solar cooker. Tidal energy. Tidal energy is the form of hydropower that converts the energy obtained from tides into electricity. The given image shows the working of a tidal power generator. Water moves in and out past the turbine as tides ebb and flow. Turbines turn generator module and produces electricity. This electricity is transmitted through underwater cables for further use ashore. Wind energy Wind energy is the use of wind to provide mechanical energy through wind turbines to run electric generators and produce electricity. Wind energy can also be used to do other works like grinding grains and pumping water. Geothermal energy Geothermal energy is thermal energy generated and stored in the earth. 
Geothermal energy is captured by geothermal power plants which use heat from deep inside the earth to generate steam to make electricity. It can also be captured by geothermal heat pumps which tap into heat close to the earth's surface to heat water or provide heat for buildings. This is a diagrammatic representation of a geothermal power plant and its working. Hydrogen fuel cell Hydrogen fuel is a zero emission fuel and is much cleaner than coal and petroleum. Hydrogen is used as a fuel in fuel cells which produce electricity. It is used in space shuttles, passenger cars and fuel cell buses. A fuel cell requires hydrogen as fuel from fuel station and oxygen from the air. Hydrogen is passed through anode that is the positive terminal whereas oxygen is passed through cathode that is negative terminal of the cell. Hydrogen electrons flow from anode to cathode and produce electricity. Vehicles that run on hydrogen fuel cell emit only water vapor without any other harmful emissions. That was all for today's class. Thank you.